Welcome to the Jump Bros, episode six. That's my bro, Tyler Treadway. What up? Yes, we can jump. Not as high as we want to, but stay tuned, because you're about to see some motherfucking highlights today. Boy, probably rim jabs from Treadway, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That was pretty dope. <laughs> Thanks, Trayvon. <laughs> oh. hey, yes, I did. I finally got treadwayed. I'll give this a try. Yeah, I don't know. 
I tried to fucking. You tried to punch Yeah, it. I tried to punch that one. Because I feel like I was high enough. Yeah, I think so. I made it to it. Was in Cram City, but went. back for more. Eighty six, eighty seven. That's the problem. If I'm two pounds lighter, I'm smashing those nine sixes. Even though I made them, they were just too. They were too difficult. I, that that's the best way to quit eating Oreos is your spike. Yeah. That's a fact. Thank you. 
twist it a little bit so it's like right of right above. All you gotta do is literally hold it like this and toss it like that. Like you're throwing a second base to the shortstop. That's all I need. And I'll cram daddy this motherfucker at 9 10. Motherfucker. Missing the ball, so I wonder. I'm not running through there though. I can do it. Cause I'm still floating across the rim. I'll get up underneath the bucket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more fun. Yep. That's what I need. All right, Trevor. Or uh, Trey, are you ready for the first dunk at 9:10? It's about to happen right now. Go down. That's it though. That's it. Because I was up there looking at it like, hey, I got this. I got this. That's it, Joey. I'm going to cram that bitch if you throw it right there. Go down. Oh, I got to use my arms. Ah! I almost passed out for a second. I was so excited because I'm trying to track the ball instead of just trying to jump on it. Yeah. That's the hardest thing with these is like, like when you're Cause I'm like off. going up like this instead of just fucking acting like I'm gonna dunk the fucking mini ball and just if it's there dunk it. That's what I need to do. You're so, so, so tracking the ball. So really, yeah. If you're here. I hit the fucking ball in the way. I still grab the rim. So, I mean, it's still progress, I guess. Fuck. I, I just, if I felt like I did last week, I would have fucking, I mean, I still got 10 easy. I would have punched the fuck out of that. Damn it. Show that one on IG with a little tippy dunk. <laughs> oh, that one was perfect. Oh! Oh, yo, yo, jump! Bros, episode six. He's a uh, jump bro number one, Tyler Treadway. I'm jump bro number two, your boy Corey G. Fucking today, um, you know, I, my wife asked me how we did, like we we're high school kids when she walked through. <laughs> yep. And <laughs> wait, wait, right, Trey, it's kind of what it felt like. How'd you do today, honey? <laughs> um, but we did a bunch of today's Thursday. We did a bunch of stuff in the gym that actually was some PRs on box jumps and band stuff, which I think was really good. We just needed one more day probably before we jumped. Yeah, we jumped last Friday yeah. too. So we did legs on Wednesday, took Thursday off because we were trying to get into the gym and then jumped on Friday. This week we switched it up and did a day early and it felt good. I didn't feel tired, but mm -hmm. apparently something was tired. My legs felt a little dead. 
Yeah. But I think Trey mentioned like with the bands and stuff, I think, you know, I think my nervous system was just a little taxed. Yeah. I made a 44 inch depth jump box jump as did you. And that was really good for both of us. Mm -hmm. So the thing that's crazy is, and this is what back to like the squat every day stuff. I remember having days where my old good days tired, beat up, I'd be making those weights and I would know if I backed off, I'd be a fucking monster. So, you know, I'm always looking for the, the positive. To me, the positive today was we were tired for sure, mildly. Mm -hmm. Jumped a day earlier than last week. So we had six days instead of seven or eight because we had pushed it a day. Um, we still both made two hands at 9.6, right? Mm -hmm. Wasn't as easy this last week. But we also did it, we jumped at it more. We yeah. Last week we just did it like once and rolled it up. Uh, you should have made 9-10 with the small ball. Yeah. There's five jumps that that ball should have went in. Yeah. I made 10 pretty 9-10 and 10 pretty easy today with the small ball. But the – um, and then, bro, how many oops we try at 9-10? Probably 15, 12. Yeah. Just the fact my knees can even do that that many times you can handle is good, it. bro. I got one little baby tip dunk, which probably don't look that sweet, but off Trey sent it to me anyway. And um, I know I can do that. Yeah, Actually, I know I can there. do it at ten. It's, I, it's I, weird though, like yeah. the timing is different because when you wh the way we were way building up, different. I don't know if we need to like stick to one um, way of doing things each jump session. Okay. I like going around, you know, trying the oops, trying the small ball. I where think you we can made swing. a lot more of those at higher levels today though than any yeah. session, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, for sure. But when we use the ball that you know. I have to use two hands. You can palm yeah, a little bit. Sometimes. Um, we don't have any arm swing. It's a whole different jump. It actually threw my timing off even yeah. for the little ball. And that's what I think the problem is, is because when we go to the small ball, then you can swing, but then it's even different when you go for the oop because you can swing, but you also have to go track a ball. So maybe, though, what we should do is if we're saying today we're going for the highest oop, mm -hmm. we should probably just small ball it all the way up. Yep. And then just catch oops. Because it's a whole different jump process with the ball. Or just catch oops all the way up. That's what I mean. Yeah. So don't take the ball with us. Right. Right. I like that idea. Because. So we should do that next week. Because it's a totally different jump. It is a totally different jump. And. What's, Eventually what's, I want to be able to take the ball with me. Right. But we ain't there yet. Right. The one thing that I've noticed is that each week we're progressing in a different way. I agree with that. Um, whether it's you feel better, you're making different jumps, or it's just feeling better at the different heights. Yeah. But what nine I, six looks low, bro. Yeah. It it you can. It tell. looks like nine used to look kind of. And even nine eight doesn't feel that no. high. No. Nine ten doesn't feel that bad. Indoors nine ten with us rested. I'm telling you, we're fucking it up. Oh yeah, for sure. For like sure. I'm feeling good about that. I, there's a, if you're watching, dude, holler at me. The dude who manages Lifetime Easton at one point used to message me. So I'm trying, but I can't feel bad. I can't remember his name, though. Uh, so I, I don't know if I – I don't think I saved his number. I'm going to look on my on my phone today because if that's the case, I'm going to see if he'll just let us in. Yeah. Because then it's like he knows we're not going to be playing basketball. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if we can get that hook up, then – It's over. It's, it's fucking curtains. I Why? think we could get it easy. Again, you know, we're jumping on blacktop, so we're kind of – it's kind of gangster jumping on blacktop with a fucking chain net, though. Oh, it's so sick. You feel so good. I yeah. mean, above the rim, Treadway. I don't think we're hitting the potential that we could, but no. if we can hit it out here, I mean, it's going to be can a do it wrap anywhere. in there. Bro, we can do it anywhere, then. Yeah, I just think we need a little bit more rest. I think what we're doing on Wednesdays in the Get Stacked program is really good. I think it's working. Um, Because we're I, still seeing progress. Yeah, it's working. And, we're st and I'm still testing a bunch of that stuff, too. Like, some of the jumps we're making, like, with the bands and stuff we never even tried before. No. And it, it I still want to jump through the bands and dunk too. Yeah. We haven't done that yet either, which would be yeah. kinda cool. I think it'll be cool. Um it'll be again weird. It would almost have to be a small ball only thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Because just just vertical work. To get the arm swing through the bands on your on yeah. your chest. So next so what we need to do is a couple things. Next week well I couldn't do Friday anyway because I got I got work to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So or we could actually could have done it inside, actually. But I like being out here, too. I do, too. I like um, being All right, outside. so next week we're going to do it on Friday. We'll just put the jump rows up on Monday or whenever Trey can get it done. No rush on that. We'll try to figure it out and give us more rest from Wednesday. 
Yeah. And I like the idea of working oops all the way up. Yeah. And I, then just in an in even, yeah, just basically work oops all the way up. Yeah, I think that'll be smart because we'll and just practice it. Yeah, practice going down. Because, like I said, it's so much different trying to jam it. You get so high. We were catching oops at, like, what, 9.6? And then the next time you try to catch an oop was at 9.10. Yeah. Well, so I knew I was high enough to get it there. And 9.10, for some reason, for me and my brain, it's so close mm-hmm. that I know that, like, if I just have a good day, I'm going to get it down to 10. Yeah. If I can get it, like, and it... I think I know that I wasn't jumping as hard at nine ten. That's the funny thing because, like you said, I'm tracking the ball. I'm not worried about just arm swing and dunking. And I don't even know if I'll look on the videos if I was even doing the kick thing. I bet you yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, that'll be say. interesting to look back and see if I was even doing that when I was trying to take those oops. Because yeah. I bet you I was straight legged. Man, that might have been the, that might have been the key. I wasn't even doing that. Yeah, Damn. that helps you out so much. You had it. A couple times you did it. Yeah, I was trying you to probably practice it on lower rims, probably. Yeah, I didn't. Again, I we got so high and we're so accustomed to being able to just punch it easy, kind of up there. Now mm. it's weird because it's it's only been what six weeks. We've actually made a lot of progress in six weeks, and we've made so much progress that we're like, oh, I don't want to go back to nine six and practice stuff, even though we spent a decent amount of time at nine six today. Though. Today, but yeah. like before, yeah, yeah. like we didn't want to go back down to it. When three weeks ago we would have been happy with nine six. Oh, dude. Yes. And it's like now we're I like look too back good at, for it. I looked at, yeah, for sure. I look back at um the first 20 videos that we did on YouTube and, um or I did, I think you did so you came and jumped with me a couple yep. times, didn't you? Um, I made it, I think you threw the oop or somebody did at 9.6 or 9.7 and it was like basically like barely a tip in fucking one foot, like, and I yep. was pumped. And now we're, like, accidentally doing that, like, just carrying the ball ourselves. Yeah. Like, you, I mean, so, whatever. It's good. Yeah. We just need to, but part of the process of uncovering this is tweaking those things each week. I want to feel like I did last Friday. Yeah. And we will next Friday. And I think oops all the way up makes sense. Yeah. So, we'll stick to that. Anything training-wise that you really feel like is helping? Um, I think the band stuff helps a lot. Mm-hmm. The isometrics that we started last week and are continuing this week with yeah. the lunge position hold, those yeah, help a ton. Yeah, a ton. The GPP stuff has been has been huge. I tried them with the foot up a little bit today too. It's harder. Yeah. Like the way Jake does it. Yeah, I like those. Um, the Nordics are getting easier. The Nordics are a sneaky big part of this. Mm-hmm. Hamstring strength for sure. Especially when you do that flutter kick and you, you pull yeah. it up and you snap it down. So with, um, Trey, maybe you'd know this too, like with like, I haven't been an athlete athlete like this in so many years. Like what happens if you just take three days off from just anything knee related jump, jumping? Like, is that different than lifting or does it feel better or worse? I, I just would wonder like if you really do like a, like a true taper rest or Cause I'm my, cause I'm old and I'll have cobwebs after yeah, three yeah. days. You know, I might, I might feel worse. Yeah. That's why I need it. Like, cause that's what things I was wrestling with this morning. I'm like, do I do any of this stuff this morning mm-hmm. or am I making myself more tired? I don't really know. Cause I'm just being honest. I really just don't know. Yeah. I just need to try it, I guess. Cause like when we get ready for a powerlifting meet or if the meets on Saturday or last day is Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. And then the rest of the week's kind of like... That's true. A, some light stuff. So maybe if, like, I just don't touch anything knee-related... Because I guarantee, even though I'm doing stuff that is keeping it building, it's got to be making me tired the mm-hmm. morning of jumping a little bit. Yeah. You know? I could feel it when I... I felt okay, but I just, you know... But that's... Part of this process is f- uncovering that. That's why there's no program on the website right now. Yeah. I don't really know all the way. Yeah. But I will... We're building it, yeah. Yeah absolutely building it yeah. um yeah that's all i really got you got anything else Troy? no like i said it was still good to have a bad day but still make progress i feel like it's like a every other week thing we have like mm-hmm. a bad day but if we would have had this day in week three we would have been Dude, super pumped if you would have told us week one this was our bad day we'd have been excited Exta- that's why i ain't that mad yeah it I wasn't even a bad day it was just oh, different what? it wasn't as good as last week yeah uh, but our expectations were a little bit higher. Yeah. And But it's crazy because it's like when you squat 
you don't expect to squat 405 one week and then the next week think you're going to squat 455 That's and true. then 500. But we're doing that with dunking. We're like, There's going to well, be a limit at some point. So maybe that's yeah. where we're starting to kind of go up against the ceiling of it, which why I keep saying I need to weigh 180. Yep, yep. Because that's one thing that's a, a variable. That's is our weight. variable that's got to change. Yeah, because our force production is going up. That's yes. a fact. Yes. And our timing is getting better. Mm -hmm. And we're getting better at actual dunking, which is a skill. But if we are fucking lighter, it's going to make a huge difference. What's your weight difference between week one and week six? Um, I was like hanging around 190. So maybe like, or maybe a little bit higher. I don't have to go back and look. But I definitely wasn't in the 180s. Yeah. Maybe I was like 92. Okay. This whole kind of time I've been, even when we got, um, when I, I got the small ball at 10, dude, I was like 177. and I, But I was still hurting so bad. Yeah. Like, if I end up weighing that again now, it's over. Yeah. But for some reason, I just need to quit eating Oreos. <laughs> the yeah. fuck is wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> the fact that you can eat Oreos like that and still look like that. Yeah, I mean, like I guess I can't be mad about life, I guess. All right, Jump Bros, episode six. He's Tyler Treadway, a.k.a. Kylie Jenner. I'm Corey G. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Peace.